Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my Newton's Cradle experiment. Okay, so this is my Newton's Cradle experiment by Evie Dixon, which is me. And this is how to make a Newton's cradle. Okay, okay, so this is how I made this Newton's cradle. This is basically how it goes. You pull back the marble on the end, and then you just drop it, and it continues to go. So, I didn't have enough materials to make it again, so I'm sorry about that, but I'll just explain to you how I made it. So basically, these you would hot glue um, a stick to another stick. So it kind of forms like an like a, a corner of a square, and then you do that to the other side of this horizontal stick, and then you do one on the bottom to make like a square with the ones on the sides above the ones um, on the top and bottom. And so you do that again, so you make a square again, like that. Next, on this top one, you're gonna make a uh, third square. So one across, one across, one across, and one across. And then you want to take a, um, I think it's either eight inches or 12 inches of string. You can test out both. And then you hot glue the st string to a marble. And then you do six marbles. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you tape each string like a pinky finger apart or even less than that. Try to do them equally spaced. But make sure that they're all like touching each other. See how they're all touching? They're all touching, right? But if the string was pulled out here and this one wouldn't touch it, wasn't touching, it wouldn't go. Or if this one was pulled out, then it wouldn't go. So make sure they're all touching. And you can adjust, adjust the strings. Like if this one is too high, then you can pull this one and then pull this one to make it higher. Or I mean, if that one would be too low, sorry. And then you make sure you can do a double layering of tape on this, and then you've got your Newton's cradle. Or wait, so you did the top one right with all these ones, then you hot glue um, these two side squares with a bottom one right there, and then you do it on the other side to make kind of like uh, three fourths a square, <laughs> and then you hot glue this top one to these this other one like that, and like that, and then on these sides too. Now you've got your Newton's cradle. You can test out how your marbles work. You can test out how your marbles work, and if they don't go, try to um, make sure your marbles are the same so like you can put a ruler underneath there and if you have to push some up to get the ruler to be even with all then make sure you make those ones higher it has to be all in one straight line and also make sure they're close in the string placements on the top here like where the tape is where my finger is right now um make sure they're close the string is close together um so that when you pull it back they all hit each other so it's not like it just stops there because it's not touching. And then you should have a Newton's cradle like that. This project is really fun and I hope you try it. In the next slide, I will be showing you how the science behind it, or not how, just the science behind it. See you in the next slide. Okay, 
So in this next slide, this slide um, is the science behind the Newton's Cradle. The Newton's Cradle is a toy named after the scientist Sir Isaac Newton. It demonstrates a scientific idea called momentum. Momentum is the force of an object as it moves. When you swing one of the marbles on the end, it collides with the marble next to it and the force of that collision travels through um, each of the other marbles until it reaches the last one, which swings way upward. When the marble swings back down, the force travels through the marbles again, causing them to transfer the momentum to the last one and send it way upward and then repeats it all, and then it repeats all over again. Mm -hmm. So here's a little slow-mo um, video and try to see um, the mo how the momentum works, where you pull this one back and then it hits and the other one goes. It travels through all of them. So try to see that. See that one goes, and then try to see how it moves through all of them. You can watch this video. You can like um, go back in this video again to see this again. This one in the video again. Okay, and that is a Newton's Cradle experiment and how it works. Thanks for watching. Bye.